His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to His Majesty Sultan Qaboos bin Saeed of Oman, marking his country's Renaissance Day. His Majesty the King wished Sultan Qaboos continued health and happiness and his country further progress and prosperity, hailing the steady progress of the solid relations between the two countries and their people. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable to the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi marking the anniversary of the Egyptian Revolution. His Majesty the King wished President al-Sisi continued health and happiness and further progress and prosperity to the people of Egypt. His Majesty the King lauded the steady growth of the solid relations between the two countries. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable condolences to the Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas on the death of his brother Umar Abbas. His Majesty the King offered deepest condolences to the President Abbas, praying to Allah Almighty to rest his soul of delay in eternal peace. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable to His Majesty Sultan Qaboos bin Saeed of Oman, marking his country's Renaissance Day. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister lauded the strong brotherly relations linking Bahrain and Oman, wishing such relations for further progress and development. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister sent a similar cable to Oman's Deputy Premier for Cabinet Affairs, Fahad bin Mahmoud Al Saeed. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al Sisi, marking the anniversary of the Egyptian Revolution. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister sent a similar cable to the Egyptian Premier Sharif Ismail. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas following the sad demise of his brother Umar Abbas. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of good wishes to His Majesty Sultan Qaboos bin Saeed of Oman marking his country's Renaissance Day. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince sent a similar cable to Oman's Deputy Premier for Cabinet Affairs, Fahad bin Mahmoud Al Saeed. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al Sisi, marking the anniversary of the glorious Egyptian Revolution. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince lauded the historic brotherly relations linking the two countries and their people and the various fields. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas following the demise of his brother Umar Abbas. His Majesty the King's personal representative for charity work and youth affairs and chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Royal Charity Organization, the RCO, Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, has lauded His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's interest in all Bahraini orphans and his keenness to ensure they receive equal quality education as well as all forms of services and care so that they can continue acquiring knowledge to ensure a stable and decent life. Sheikh Nasser also praised the Royal Directive to provide all kinds of support to orphans to help them succeed in their life and become effective members in their community and to contribute to its advancement and prosperity. In a letter of gratitude addressed to His Majesty the King on behalf of the RCO's affiliates, marking the annual ceremony hosted by RCO to honor outstanding orphans, Sheikh Nasser asserted that the success of more than 450 orphans to be among the top achieving students is the fruitful outcome of the great royal care they enjoy. Sheikh Nasser extended deepest thanks and gratitude to His Majesty King Hamad RCO's Honorary President for the outstanding success and distinction of RCO-affiliated students, wishing him abundant good health and happiness and long life. He pledged the RCO affiliates unwavering loyalty to His Majesty the King and keenness to be dedicated in serving the nation under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad, support of the government led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and backing of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser also lauded the cooperation of the Education Ministry, the University of Bahrain and all public and private educational institutions with RCO. Arab Foreign Ministers held a preparatory meeting for the Arab Summit due to be held in Newark, Chot, Mauritania. They discussed current Arab issues including the Palestinian issue, the Arab-Israeli conflict, the Iranian interference in internal Arab issues, the situation in Yemen and Syria, and ways of fighting terrorism. 
Pierre Vermont, the French presidential envoy in charge of the French initiative to solve the Palestinian issue, reviewed recent efforts to implement the initiative. The third meeting of the Arab Force sided Committee to follow up the developments of the crisis with Iran, consisting from Bahrain, the UAE, Saudi Arabia and Egypt, in addition to the Arab League, also held a meeting on the sidelines of the meeting. They condemned all forms of Iranian interference in affairs of Arab countries and called on Iran to stop supporting terrorists and subversive groups, as well as to refrain from hostile and provocative statements against Arab countries, stressing the importance of relations with the Islamic Republic of Iran is based on respect for the sovereignty of Arab states and the principle of good neighborliness.